I don't remember, but I do want to tell you guys about some TV shows that I was watching that really helped me study because they are reality shows and they are true to nature. So um, if you go onto YouTube, you can look up the show Night Watch. Night Watch is a show that follows around paramedics and EMTs in a couple of different cities and they basically go on emergent calls. It's a really good show and you can buy the seasons. There's like, we're on season five now and I just watched all of them. I watched every single show and I learned and I learned so much. That was the best thing. That is my study tool because it is literally running scenarios because they're doing their job. That's what they're doing. So, um, night watch and, um, was the ultimate. That was the best thing I ever learned. If you want to see people going into like drowning or, um, cardiac arrest and things like that. If you want to see someone running a code, I found this show called Bondi Rescue. It's actually a lifeguarding show and it's set in Australia. I don't know how I came up on it. I think I was looking for EMT shows, reality shows, and this popped up. I mean, it's a, it's a lifeguarding show. It's kind of like Baywatch, but reality, kinda but it's all about what the lifeguards are actually doing. But usually in every episode, someone arrests. And so you see them pull somebody out of the water and they're doing CPR and they're doing the pads and they're you know, doing everything, drying off the body, putting the AEDs on and, and shocking them. And you see what the end breathing is that I'm not even gonna tell you the word because it's just, it, I mean, you don't even care. But um, those are the two shows. Those are the two shows that I, Bondi Rescue I found first because I wanted to see if I could handle a person arresting in front of me and still do my job. Um, I think I was also looking for shark bites. I don't know why. I guess my brother lives in Florida and I was just, I was looking for trauma scenarios. So I was trying to see, can I do this job? And I was afraid in the beginning that I couldn't because I was afraid, okay, blood and guts and gore. I've been around surgery, but that's completely different. And I don't really enjoy surgery. It's not like a passion, but I can do it and I know it. And um, I used to work with surgical equipment. I used to do surgical scrub tech type stuff. So, <coughs> but I wasn't a surgical scrub tech. I worked in CPD. So, but I had to sit in on lots of surgeries. I sat in on an open heart surgery all day. I sat in on some knee surgeries. I sat in on a bunch of different surgeries. So like gowned up and everything. So I knew... Surgery is okay. It's kind of cool. Um, there's not really something new every day. Uh, you really are kind of knowing what you're going into and things like that. That's good. Um, I enjoyed that. I thought that was the road I was going on. I was going to be a surgeon. Um, but I found that once I started watching all these shows that I started getting more and more excited. I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know what to do next. Oh yeah. Ooh. You can turn and get that. Oh my gosh, her muscle came off. And I would be like showing Brandon these things and he'd be like, oh, and he couldn't stand it. He's an x-ray tech. He's a CT tech. He does bone. He doesn't do open fractures and stuff. He doesn't work in a trauma room anymore. Um, and he works here because he didn't enjoy it. Um, me, on the other hand, I am all about it. I am all about emergent situations. I'm all about trauma and I love that stuff. Um, I am good under pressure. So it is a good job for me. Oh, I know what I can tell you. You don't have to run on a rig. You don't have to get a job that is on an EMT, uh, on an ambulance. You don't have to, once you get your certificate, there are many other things that you can do. You can be a contract EMT where you go and work at um, like venues, like a concert or uh, a fair or something like that where they hire out contract EMTs for a certain amount of time. You can work in an industry job where they, um, manufacturing, like um, where they build cars or do steel milling and things like that. Like usually they will have an EMT on staff <coughs> in case of an accident, because they happen. Um, then you could go 
further and be a surgical scrub tech if you want to go the surgery side. I mean, you're not performing surgery, but you are dealing, you are literally in the, in the OR with the surgeon. Um, let's see, you can be, there are office jobs you can do as an EMT. You can also work towards being a PA if you want to be um, a physician's assistant. That's a lot more school, a <laughs> lot, but you're on your road to that. <coughs> Let's see. You can be a dispatcher. You can be a 911 dispatcher, and you can also work with the fire department. So, I mean, there are tons of different jobs that you can be doing with an EMT certificate. My favorite is volunteering. Now I can go and volunteer on blood drives and, and, and help my friends and family and all of those things. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Y'all have to ask me questions.